One, two, three. These pieces are connected. Close the gaps visually. That's the back of her head. The couple dancing right here. That's the rest of their body connected. It continues over onto the next panel, next wall. The couple sitting at the table with the dance between them. And then the last panel with the cotton club. This is a historical non-linear piece that I'm going to share with you. The name of this piece is called Communal Resurrection Song for Aya. I want to first point out to you Aya, and then I'm going to walk you through the entire piece and talk to you about some of the finer points in here about this communal resurrection. Aya is an Adinkra symbol coming out of Accra, Ghana. They have several different Adinkra symbols that have different representations of elements about your life, words of encouragement, words of wisdom, different idioms that they share to, that are everywhere in the landscape of Ghana that speak to under people's clothing, on the buildings, everywhere you'll see them. There are many of these things are, have been in the American context brought here through slavery, and a lot of the wrought iron workers that were in New Orleans, they put them into the wrought iron fences, and the people that had them in the yards had no clue that they had the dinker symbols on it. It's in chairs, it's in windows, it's all kinds of spaces, literally hidden right in front of people. And they will retain the history, retain the stories, passing it on to the next generation, keeping them strong for all they had to go through. The symbol Aya is right here. The symbol is a symbol of a fern. Let me get out of the way. It's a symbol of a fern, and that's a stylized fern. The fern is a symbol of endurance. And if you think about a fern, a fern is definitely a symbol of endurance because it's hard. It don't need a whole lot to grow. It can grow up a little bit of water and that bad boy is gonna grow wild, almost like bamboo. It just grows. And so that's what this symbol represents. So now, once you look at that symbol of Aya, you would know, or note maybe, that I've used it throughout the entire composition. It's everywhere. Over and over again, that Aya is inscribed on like a tattoo within the composition. I kept using it repeatedly. All dry, it's on the forehead, it's on the sides of arms. Every look, it's there. The more you look for this, those shapes, that pattern, you start seeing it. It's everywhere, all throughout the composition. Ferns, 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 endurance, endurance, endurance. So I'll start with this side over here. I want to make something that I don't know what to do. This one here starts off in the fields. As the woman down here singing up to our God. And she's down in the cotton fields and working and so forth. But as they're working and dancing on the lady hop, they dance a dance of freedom as I shared a halo about their hand, the halo about her head, the freedom of her mind. The cotton club is juxtaposed with the cotton field because that became another translation in terms of the incarceration, in terms of stopping and denying people to be able to access into equal spaces. The dancers move on as they move in the ways which like to utilize as utensils as I juxtapose into figures which come from the bottom of the slave ship. Design-wise, I pull the rhythms and the sound and it rolls over, it drops down and boom, and as the woman dances, as the wheels spill, as it's scratching, as on top of the, the music is playing, the woman is dancing and the handkerchief is waving in the air. And then on the ground, the sugar hill game, a hip, hop, a hip to the hip to hip, hip, hop, don't stop for rocking to the bang, baby. They move them all across the composition as it goes and boom, it bursts out here from the floor, up and down and around. It slows down. The woman dances off to the side as a couple share a moment together. You gotta feel it, guys. You gotta feel the rhythm. <laughs> And as you move into the compositional space, I now move into a world where I give you a little bit of R&B. Minnie Rippleton is on the stage singing, Love, I need you, this music cause you're beautiful. I'm not gonna try to hit the next line. <laughs> <laughs> she's singing, she's going for it, and her hand is raised up. And then those who know that I just did this piece here at this college, you'll know that I have a piano player in that composition that I deposited at this institution and there's a house on top of it. It's a symbol that I developed a couple of years ago. Because <clears throat> I started thinking about 
when we hear a musician play their music, we don't just connect to them in terms of the sound. We connect to them from where they're from. <coughs> when that musician plays that guitar, or plays that piano, or hits those drums, or strums that bass, they are playing their past. And we're able to connect with them, and you can feel the emotions like that person was speaking to me, <laughs> talking to me. They were talking to you, they're talking to you from their house, and that's embedded in the keys as they play. As the woman here is dancing, as the woman sits upon the thorny chair, as she's listening to Mary Riverton, who's spiritually moving them and filling them up inside that space. As we move on, hopefully, we move into a space of a slow dance. We can slow it down a little bit. We can just hold each other. Just say, I love you. Oh, I just hold on to you. Tell me one more time. Tell me how much you love me. And as we move into the composition, I have cold train. I love this. I love this. I love this. This is Esperanza following. And then Art Blakey on the drums and the tune is sitting over here. The woman singing and moving. And the audio for everything. And then you see the new on the band go. But then I take you from here as the horn, as the sound of liberation, a sound of freedom, the ribbon touching the, the New Orleans housing projects. Boom, the ribbon touches the, the projects in Chicago. The ribbon moves and it goes and it goes all into Sing Sing, which is a penitentiary in New York. And it just speaks the space where we have a continuation of slavery in our nation in the prison industrial complex. And it speaks our work as musicians, as artists, working against those systems and breaking those chains that exist still today as we process out, as we as older generation speak back to younger generation, as we process in the streets, remembering to remember about the dirge of our past, the dirge in our present with the hope 